Coach, uh, as far as from last game to today, maybe a bit more of a complete effort just from what from what I saw. What would your assessment of your group's performance tonight be? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, we, we had a you know a challenging meeting in terms of just bringing more compete and work, and um, you know trying to at least match or be a little bit better than than the, our opponent. And uh, you know we didn't have that on Tuesday night, um, which you guys are aware of. And you know, I thought our guys did a pretty good job tonight and have a great, great response. You know, good hockey teams, com you know, competitive hockey teams find ways to response, uh, have a response from adverse moments like we did last game. And our efforts were there. We had some guys step up. Um, you know, it was kind of a tight hockey game. The first 40 minutes, there wasn't much. There wasn't much ice out there for either team. Uh, scoring chances were low. Uh, kind of opened up a little bit in the third. Um, you know, we were able to find the win against a good hockey team. Just talk a little bit about uh, Pelche and, and you know getting a goal tonight, but the adjustment he's had to make in the last, let's say, a week or so since the call-ups earlier. Just uh, maybe your assessment on how he's performed and how he's adjusted in the last few games. Yeah, I liked his game today. Uh, I, I thought he, he skated. He moved his feet. Um, he was willing to make some plays and go to the hard area, and you know that's uh, that's what you got to do. You know, like we talked about it, it's a next man up mentality here with guys that are on recall. We're we're no different than any other team in the American Hockey League that deals with that. And you need guys to step up, but you gotta you gotta bring it, and and you know you gotta read situations. And, and I thought he had a good response from his last game. Two more games here before the break. Uh, just your focus heading into the week to you know finish off strong before the Christmas break. Yeah, it's uh, we know we have a real strong opponent coming in here next week in Ontario. We're familiar with them uh, from our battles in, in Stockton last year, and. Um, you know, so we've got to kind of reset ourselves here. Um, you know, a couple practices left, and then a couple big games, and then guys get to, you know, enjoy the holidays with their family and friends. And uh, but we know those are important hockey games, so we got to make sure we're ready for those. And Patterson and Poirier yep. looked super dialed in tonight. What did you see out of their play? Yeah, again, I, I think for our whole group, there was just more purpose and, and more uh, engagement in, in terms of just being, you know, more assertive and competitive against a good hockey team, and that's. That was the challenge. Is we needed to we needed to bring in more, and and I thought those guys did in particular. But a lot of guys in that dressing room tonight brought it, and and that was a good sign for us. We needed that hockey game. Mm -hmm. and another one would be Dustin Wolf as well, holding it down for you guys in that last minute or two. Um, do you find that a goaltender of his skill kind of takes some of the pressure off of some of the the players? Oh, hey, okay. he's the uh, best line of defense for us. I mean, he's done it for a year and a half now. Um, things break down, he finds a way to make a save. That's his job. Um, you know, we ask him and Oscar to give us opportunities to win each and every night. And, and, and honestly, uh, Dustin did the last couple nights for us, and he was able to get the job done for us tonight. Thanks, guys.